What's going on guys? Welcome to another video and today another question from one of you. So basically this is a question from Marisa which I would assume she's from the Philippines and she uh, sent me an email quite recently. Uh, so her message is as follows. Uh, she's new to AppSheet and thank you for your kind words Marisa and of course the question is basically asking on how is it possible uh, if they can actually autofill the amount in the section which is the running balance from the previous log. So what this means is um, she wants an app where, whereby it will actually uh, sort of captures the running balance and that same running balance will be used for the next transaction or input for that particular location or uh, place. So good news for you, Marisa, and to all that this is the video. We'll be explaining on how to do it and let's have a look. All right, so based on the data that Marisa has shared to me in her email, so I've actually followed back her structure uh, I did some short or slight uh, modification. So I added date time, houses, staff name, what was the money used for, the amount in, the amount used. So apparently there's a receipt upload here. And the most important part in this tutorial is the running balance. And of course, I've added another table, two more, which is the house table. Where this, is where this is where all the information about the houses, the house, the address, and some image of the house. And of course, in staff table, which is the employees handling the houses. So we have the staff name, the staff email, and staff profile. So having all these three in the app, whereby you have the transaction table, uh, of course, location is just to show the map on the place itself. We have houses. So since Marisa is from the Philippines, so I just do a sample that maybe relates back home in Philippines. Hopefully I get this correct. But anyways, it's just a dummy data. And we have the stuff. Of course, this is myself in the stuff list. And you can add more later on. Uh, as as you go along so now moving to back in the app how we actually can actually do the uh, running balance is to have a virtual column that actually stores the previous running balance as shown here and the formula is as follows so the if condition is basically a whole if syntax. So the if condition is used to differentiate between having previous transactions or not. And as you can see, the first select statement here fetches all transaction dates for the same house. Okay and to ensure that it is earlier than the date time of that, tran that transaction. So the count function is basically uh, determines if there are previous transactions for the selected house. Moving on to the next one, which is the any, uh, any condition or function, whereby it ext extracts a single value this is used due to the structure of select returning list. So the second select function here, uh, if basically if previous transaction exists, so what it does is it retrieves the running balance from the most recent, um, what we call it, uh, transaction for the same house. And of course, the else condition, if none of this fits the criteria, it will return to zero, means it's new. 
And then in the running balance column here, so I have a formula, a basic one, basically uh, the virtual column that we created earlier, previous running balance. Uh, we will just add on with the amount in, deduct with the amount used. So when we have this in place and we were to use the app, let's try to create one. Let's say in transaction, let's add a new one. So as you can see, it's 3 o'clock, 3.30 here. So we're using uh, the houses. So again, to ensure that this is a drop down. So in the houses column itself, I'm using the valid if condition where I will just pull the house list here from the house table. So you just click insert, then it'll be here. All right, so let's say Antonino, um, staff is myself. So again, for staff, I did the reference. So staff name, reference, and the reference is referred back to the staff table. So what was the money used for? Let's say to buy new furniture. And I am given the amount of 10,000. Oh, that's quite a lot, but never mind. So the amount used to buy furniture, let's say it's uh, 2,000. So once we have that, so you can see running balance is 10,000. But the moment I insert the amount used, it will reduce the running balance to 8,000. So I did an, an extra... Um, feature or function which is called the summary where it will just do a very short brief uh, explanation where there is an incoming of 10,000 and outgoing of 2,000. So let's click save here. So we can see under a uh, transaction for the Antonino house I have incoming of 10,000 and outgoing of 2,000 so that leaves with 8,000. So you can see the rest of the um, description here. So if I were to add a new one, let's say for the same house again, Antonino. So the moment I click Antonino, it will uh, retrieve the re recent or latest running balance, which is 8,000. Uh, let's create another one. Repair air condition. So the amount is neither, no money is being in, uh, given, but we are actually spending, let's say, an additional of 3,500. So once we reduce this, should be around 4.5, yeah. So 4.5. So incoming is zero, outgoing is 3,500. And the list goes on and on. So again, this is something that uh we can actually assume that um would actually fit the scenario to calculate the rate uh, latest running balance and of course i i'll provide this uh expression in the description down below so i hope you enjoyed the video Thank you, Marissa, for your comment. And for those who would like to know more or would like to send some questions or you have anything you want to ask, don't forget to do it in the comment section down below. Or perhaps you can send me an email as well. I'll try my best to entertain as many as I can. Uh, for those who I haven't replied, hang in there. I'll get, I'll get to you soon. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.